Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. Unify networks are known for their simplicity and how easy is the configuration. Everything starts with a controller, probably on a cloud key and a router. UHG is a good starting point. Then we add a couple of access points and probably some more. But in some cases we have more than one site or two or three or many sites. This is the case we will show today. Multiple sites in one controller. But first, don't forget the most important. If you like our tutorials, support our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Like and share our videos. And if our tutorials help you to grow your business, become a true member of Poseidon Tech by clicking the join button. If you want to learn more about our services, visit our website. First, we need to access the controller, which in our case is physically connected to one of the sites. In order to create a new site, use the relevant menu option in the upper right corner. Give it a name and press Submit. Automatically, we are switched to the new created site. As you can see, no devices yet in the new site. We have an alternative way to create new sites. Go to Settings and in the Site tab, in the bottom, there is an option to export the site. This is very handy in case you need to have multiple sites with similar settings. Press Export Site and Download Backup File. Then Cancel, since we have no devices to migrate. Then, in the same upper right corner, we can import the file we just exported in order to create new site. Give a name for the new site and choose the file. New site is created and switch to the new site. Also, in the settings, there is an option to delete the site. This is what we will do since we do not it for now. After we delete the site, we are back to the default. We switch to the one we will use for now. In the settings, we can change the name as well. No devices in this site yet. It's time to connect the first device, a UHG. First, we connect the one port of the UHG to the internet. And connect the laptop to the LAN port. Have in mind that although we have done no configuration to the UHG, we already have Internet access to the LAN port. Now it's time for SSH connection to the UHG. Use a terminal and connect to the UHG IP, which is 192.168.1.1. Default username and password is UBNT.
Using command help, we can see the available options. In our case, we need the set inform command. So, we run set inform command towards the FQDN of the cloud key, port 8080 slash inform. Cloud key is connected in the LAN port of USG in the default site. Also, some port forwardings are needed, but we will check them later. After command executed successfully, we can go back to the Unify controller in the site we want to adopt the device. Device appears immediately and is ready for adoption. So, let's adopt it by pressing relevant button. After some seconds, device is adopted and ready. USG connected to the selected site. An update is available, so let's update as well. Couple of minutes and it's ready. It's time for another device. This time we'll connect an access point, which is easier. Just connect the access point to the same network with the laptop. Laptop can be connected either wired or wireless in case we have an existing wireless LAN to the same network. For this demo, we will use wired connection to make it more clear. It's time for SSH connection towards the access point. Same procedure as the USG, but in this case we need to find the IP that is assigned to the access point. In our case is 192.168.2.19. Same default username and password and procedure. We use the set inform command like before. Access point appear in the controller after seconds and it's ready for adoption. Adopt and upgrade is pressed and after a couple of minutes access point will be ready. Done. That's it. We adopt device in a controller running in a cloud key connected physical in another site several kilometers away. This is the L3 adoption of Unify, an easy and very handy feature of Unify devices. Have in mind that in case you host the controller in the cloud, procedure exactly the same. So in case you have a customer with more than one site and a warehouse for example, you just need one controller. In our case, cloud key is connected behind USG in the default side. You need to port forward the following port to the cloud key. Having a static IP in the cloud key is also a good idea. Ports are 3478 
8080-8443. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.